Hi, it's uh, Doreen and I am pretty shook up right now. I had this memory this morning that uh, was something I hadn't thought about in years, but as soon as I realized this memory, I knew I needed to tell you because this could affect you or someone you know. And it has to do with tarot cards, um, which was something I was involved with for a few years. I actually, um, a long time ago in the 90s, I was giving tarot card readings. This is before there were angel cards. And, uh, and what I would do is I would just throw away the cards that would scare me. You know, the cards with the devil or um, what the death, the pentagram symbols. Uh, and so I just had a few cards and I used them to give readings. And then a few years later, um, I became involved in a project of making cards with angels on them, with no scary cards, I thought. And those cards were published with my name, but I want to let you know that last year, um, 2018, in the U.S., the, uh, the new printings of the tarot cards do not have my name on them. I cannot... I don't have any way of getting the old decks out of print that have my name on them. Uh, I know people sometimes uh, say mean things about me because my old cards are out, but I'm not an auto manufacturer that can recall um, old products. And, and then to the non-US countries, they bought a licensing right that nobody, I don't have control over. So all I can do is just share these videos and um, and apologize because uh, since coming to Christ, I have had so much realization. So anyway, the memory I had today that I need to tell you about was that when I was involved with creating the tarot decks, um, I became aware that there were there was this man named Alistair Crowley who had something to do with popularizing tarot. And I remember that I, I didn't know much about him. I had seen one of his books of symbols, I think, and it had a picture of a devil. And, it, and just his name, even now, saying it, um, and back then it just gave me the creeps. So I had um, asked that his name not be um, uh, associated with my cards in any way or not be uh, talked about as part of the history of Tarot. And that's the part that was convicting to me today that I just feel horrible because uh, I should have been really open with you that I heard that Aleister Crowley was part of this um, because now, uh, after I had this memory, I called my friend Stephen Bankhars, who has written and taught about Aleister Crowley and his connection to uh, going from the really deep occult um, uh, to the New Age. And uh, Stephen showed me some articles, which you should look at online if you're interested, um, that show that Crowley was considered to be the wickedest man of his time. Um, he was really into the the bad type of occult stuff. Not that there's any good stuff, but just um, anyway. And then and then the man who made the writer weight cards weight was part of this golden order of the dawn or dawn of the golden. I don't remember how to say it. Um, and and just a lot of occult surrounding tarot. And I just feel horrible that I didn't um, uh, make that more clear when talking about tarot to people back in those days. And uh, especially if someone who's a Christian felt like it was safe to use tarot cards because there's angels on them. And, uh, and, and you just need to know the backstory. I, I just want to, I've repented to God and uh, through the the, his son on the cross, Jesus, um, I'm forgiven. I, I can tell, you know, my salvation is real with the, the Holy Spirit in me. But for anyone who um, is a Christian or has that history with Christ, please be super careful with Tarot and other New Age actions because it is not God's will, it's the devil's will. And uh, again, I just really apologize if anything that I wrote or said in the past um, caused you to not to to not conform to God's will or to uh, walk away from Jesus or the Bible, which is where we all belong. Uh, anyway, I'm just really shook up, so I'm not formulating my words um, clearly. But um, again, I just needed to tell you this as soon as I remembered, 
this memory. I wish that, um, of course, that I had found Jesus much, many, many years ago and I hadn't gotten involved with the New Age or written about it or taught about it. But um, as you know, I was raised in the New Age and, and I just didn't know any different. I did know, though, that Aleister Crowley was creepy and I should have told you his name was associated with tarot. So if you are getting tarot readings or you're giving them, uh, please use a lot of caution. Do research, uh, pray about this. I know some people make money uh, with tarot and they get really mad at me for talking about these things because they think that it's, um, that it's hate speech on my part. It's not, this is love speech. I wish I didn't have to make these videos, believe me, but um, I wish someone had made these videos that I had seen and understood many years ago. And so I'm saying all this not to judge anyone, um, not to hate on anyone by any means, it's to love on you and to let you know that the path to answers that you want is through God. Uh, the path of guidance that you want is through God. The path of getting direction and, and your life purpose and answers, it's all through God. It's not through instruments of the devil. So please, Pray about it. Do your research. In fact, let's pray together right now, okay? Our Heavenly Father, we, we come to you with praise for your love. You love us so much that you were willing to, to forgive those who believe in your Son, Jesus. Um, you were willing to forgive us for our sins and our transgressions. Thank you so much. Whew, and we come to you today... Um, just praying that you will guide us, um, especially if we've gotten off the path of your will. We pray that your Holy Spirit will give us clear guidance and will help us to know um, if we need to make any changes. And also that um, anything we need to repent, we will bring to you right now and, and apologize and pray for your forgiveness. And also, we want to know Jesus. We want to have a close relationship with Jesus. So please guide us as to how we can know Jesus and have him be the king on, on our heart, on the throne of our heart, that we follow him and follow him alone. And, and through Jesus, we can know your will, Heavenly Father. And we say these prayers in the name of Jesus. Amen. So again, God bless you. I love you. I care deeply about you. Please know that's why I make these videos. Um, believe me, at age 60, I thought I'd be retired by now <laughs> and gardening. And these videos, this is, this is purely done out of love. There's just, um, I just really care about you. And I don't want you to think that something's innocent when it's not. And I don't want you to think something's biblical when it's not. So so be discerning, okay? God bless you, and um, if I get any more memories of things, I'll bring them to light here on these videos.